Hello everyone, Zero Kimchi here, your source for Android emulation news and gameplays. It's time to start stealing and randomly killing peasants in this medieval Grand Theft Auto Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm sure that's what you all do in this game. Settings are shown at the end of the video. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorch. <laughs> well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Mm. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. <laughs> Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. Get up now. There's work to be done. Uh, mother. <sighs> get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs>
fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? I was sweating in the forage all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. No. It's just... Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow, anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. <laughs> you're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday, you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief-making so much. Come here, I need your help. At least you're up, that's a start. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasso. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait.
feel quite hungry. Henry, I'm... God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard! Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore! How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Sure. Farewell. Herrgott! Had enough. You had it coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off too. Damn. 
Ah! Uh. One beating wasn't enough for you. But you still owe my father. You'll get nothing from me. Tell that to your old man. I'm telling you, lay one finger on me and I'll have you thrown in jail. Yeah, that Kunesh better run before I get more angry. Show the mercy. As for win later settings, Wine 9.20, Resolution set at 720p, Turnip version 24.3.0, Revision 9, DXVK 2.4.1, Box 0.2.8, Higher boxes crash this game, and the performance preset. And that's it. I bet you can't beat Kunesh like I did. Make sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.